guys, my name is Bailey. Welcome to the Cloth Diaper Podcast. Today I am talking about the Lily Le de Confessions. I'll include her brand logo here. This is a Quebec based cloth diaper brand and they sent me some product. Well, I thought I would do a video to show you what the cloth diaper looks like because I know some of you guys learn best by video. So this is a pocket cloth diaper. It is made in Quebec. It is made in a small factory shop. You can check out her Instagram page and she's got pictures of them working on their diapers. You can purchase the Lily pocket cloth diaper individually for $33.95 or you can choose one of two hemp inserts. With Lily, they do provide a hemp insert with all of their diapers. That's the only option that they sell. And they provided a daytime hemp insert, which is two layers of 55% hemp, 45% cotton. This is a great quality insert, and this is their daytime insert. They also have a three layer nighttime insert, which their nighttime insert holds 17 ounces and their daytime insert holds 12. Absorbency testing will fluctuate from person to person as well as your techniques and strategies. So this daytime insert will hold 10 to 12 ounces of liquid and that is an incredible deal and I will walk you through what it looks like. If we take a look at this diaper it folds up like a nice little neat pocket. It has an encased elastic and they feature this fun print and solid combo on the back. They have a double waist snap here and this is one of the first differences I've noticed recently has been there's male snaps on one side and female snaps on the other. If you have a dirty diaper, you can roll it up into a nice neat package and because there's no crossover snaps, you would just snap it together like this. And now all of your poop is contained. So. It's a little bit of inventory and also a little bit of super practical. So the double waist snap is one of my personal favorites because I do prefer a higher rise diaper. One of my next comparisons will be about buttons, which is a much lower rise. They offer three rise settings on their diaper. One, two, three. This is a pretty awesome standard classic rise. My daughter is 23 pounds and she's still on the middle rise because I find that this diaper is fitting her quite big. When we open it up, we find Athletic Wicking Jersey. Athletic Wicking Jersey is an incredible stay dry material that I wish more cloth diapers were using. The other options available are, so this is bamboo, micro suede, micro fleece, and athletic wicking jersey. My personal favorite has always been athletic wicking jersey. I find that it cleans up really nice. It stays fresh really long. And it gives a stay dry feeling while still feeling very light. We see that they do have a back pocket. My one concern here is that their back pocket I do find is quite small. There is no tummy PUL like other diapers. It's just a straight basic. So you can put anything you want inside a pocket diaper. Lily does come with an insert and I was sent this hemp insert, which is just a square. It's very similar to other inserts and pre-flats or flats. This is an apple cheeks and it's the same shape and size, very similar concept. How you use it is you fold it in thirds, you stuff it inside the diaper and if you're lazy, you could really just put it on top. Your child just won't have that stay dry experience. How does this diaper pair up to others? So I've had these, I was trying to compare it to other diapers and it's not, it's a similar narrow shape to like, so this is the, this is um, a funky fluff, but funky fluff has longer, skinnier wings. Is it similar to Rumparoo? Not really, it's much smaller than a Rumparoo. I do find a Rumparoo King Care is a small diaper. When it comes to the classic Bum Genius 5.0 pocket diaper, the mother of all pockets, it's again, it's a similar shape. The buttons, they're, so it's a very similar shape. Like, honestly, you don't get a lot of variation when it comes to pocket diapers. You do get some difference, like, in the, the length of the waist here and some differences in the, the length of the front. But I do find, like, it's all very similar. 
in my experience this Lily cloth diaper pocket cloth diaper is showing to be quite a long cloth diaper so if you need a higher rise for longer or have a bigger baby it might work longer and the like the torso however I am a little bit skeptical about the length of time on the exterior just because it's not like a super big waist so that's that's about it for the inside of the lily cloth diaper I hope that helps with understanding how this diaper works so that was the lily pocket cloth diaper it seems like a really great functional cloth diaper I've had it on my kids now a couple times and so far no problems I did find that the hemp insert it really needed to be washed and washed and washed you don't have to prep all cloth diapers but you do need to prep natural organic fibers and some fibers need more prepping than others and one of those fibers tends to be organic cotton and hemp hemp is full of natural oils and the more you wash it and dry it wash and dry wash and dry the more you remove those oils which increases the absorbency of the hemp I know I washed this about five or six times and I thought I could get away with it but no it really needed to be washed a good eight to ten times and when I prepped my cloth diapers I only was only prepping this and I was tossing it in with every load of laundry I did regardless of diaper or clothing so I would just keep throwing it in with my dirty clothes or my towels you'll get a better stripping like a better prepping process with warm water but uh, it's not worth the obsession to it's not worth the wait to only do it with cloth diaper laundry because but otherwise it's been a really great cloth diaper for me um, don't forget to check my blog post at simplymombailey.com to learn more of my thoughts and opinions on this cloth diaper Thanks for joining me today. Bye.